MetLife Stadium, New Jersey. The most confusing parking situation I've seen in years. Welcome to the dream. They're still in your cars, yo. Hey everybody, we've made our way over to the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's gonna be one of the biggest malls in the world. Country. In the world? Country? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> and it's a mall. But inside this mall is a ton of crazy stuff, including a Nickelodeon Universe theme park. And as we come off the escalator, this is what you see. Actually, you see that there's not a lot of stuff that's actually open yet. This mall has been under construction or coming soon. What well, seems like forever. I'm not sure where to go yet. We can take a look around. We're gonna head up the escalator because I think the first place we might look at, if it's right over here, is Big Snow, where every day is a snow day. And Big Snow looks like a regular winter clothing store, but it is much more. Big Snow is a full on indoor skiing adventure. You got everybody out here. Looks like they're learning to ski. And then you got a full on ski lift up in the distance. And people come down the hill. Well, we are not having fun in the snow indoors today. Instead, we're heading to other fun. Let's continue looking around. Coming soon, we have a Legoland Discovery Center and a sea life and blacklit mini golf i guess coming soon century 21 coming soon and we're gonna go down these pretty barren corridors they are very vibrant at least with the pictures but just nothing here come around the corner nothing the angry birds not so mini golf club I was literally wondering whatever happened to Angry Birds last weekend. And here it is. Vans coming soon. And we're here for Nickelodeon Universe. And so are all these other people. Based as of today, all access park ticket includes the thrill rides is $70. So not as much as Disney or Universal, but still pretty pricey. All right, we picked up tickets for Nickelodeon. Let's see what else we have happening here as we walk in. There's a multi-level It's Sugar. Check that out more on the way out. Here's a better look. And then we've also got this DreamWorks water park. Not open. You can kind of see what it's all about in here. Signage up for Kung Fu Panda, Penguins, Shrek. Plus coming down the slide here, Trolls are surfing. And then walking up, Nickelodeon Universe. Where every day is the best day ever. Here's the view of the park from above. Got a coaster going. Multiple coasters going in the background. Down below, SpongeBob and Patrick meeting. I think they're wrapping up their current meet and greet set. Hopefully, they'll be back out later. They have lockers for your bags, pay lockers, little slime play area, slime dripping from the blimp. Up above me, train going by. Shimmer and shine, jumping genies. There you go. A slightly uh, more impactful Dumbo magic carpet -y type ride. Leonardo is out meeting. Oh, it is so cool. Leonardo, you keeping Shredder and the Foot Clan at bay? Those are some dope moves. But it's not just him, it's your brothers too. You gotta give credit to everyone. <laughs> you got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles boss 
photo op here where you can get on Shell Razor. It's so cool. Raffi. It's got some pizza slices. So we're gonna follow the car. Shell Razor. Going straight up. They have a multi-level Reptar carousel. Check it out! Similar to the carousel at Legoland, but much cooler, including a spinning cup. We're going Reptar racing. They have Doris Sky Railway, which is kind of like the people mover of this park. It goes around this track. It takes you around most of Nickelodeon Universe. Give a little airplane ride for fairly odd parents. Airways. Looks cute for little kids. Then we have the Bikini Bottom Transit Authority. It's actually called the Bikini Bottom Crosstown Express. And they have a photo op here with Squidward as well. Little kitty playground here. Looks like themed after Paw Patrol. Well, this is Adventure Bay and beyond it is Paw Patrol. I'm not a big swing guy, but this is awesome. SpongeBob's Jellyfish Jam. They have a slime show that'll start in a little while. And we've also got Ren and Stimpy Space Madness with an advertisement behind here for my favorite. It's log. It's better than bad. It's good. There's another Dumbo-y type ride, Blues Skidoo. And to the right of this, such an amazing photo op. It's Blue's chair! Mary's sitting down in the chair with the picture off to the side with blue and magenta and blue in the background. What? Oh my god! We know you guys. We're a little bit far from home in Orlando. <laughs> Brent and Stimpy has this little drop ride. It's funny. But this is what you come for. It's long. Ang's Air Gliders is here too. Check it out. Check it out. See what it's all about. Okay. Whoa. That's freaking cool. We got the Shredder spinning coaster. This is closed today. Timmy's Half Pipe Havoc. Let me show you what Timmy's Half Pipe ride looks like. These are the cars. We've got a better look here. And they go up this track in like a full U. We're gonna come back down. Go up the track on the other side like a full year. Jimmy Neutron's Atom Smasher. Now it's Jimmy Neutron in motion. Looks like you can balance yourself and stay straight, but then you're gonna end up flipping. 
Oh my. Oh my. Clarification on the lockers. They are free for the first 60 minutes and $5 for every additional 30 minutes. And then Sandy's blasting Bronco coaster is not operating. I've heard that it has not been operating at all. It's over here. I actually just have some trash on the floor. But that is essentially this blue track. I absolutely love the theming for everything here. Like Sandy's blasting Bronco, even though the ride's not working. How could you not want a picture with Sandy and Patrick? There's also this awesome ropes course that goes all the way up. The ropes course is themed after legends of the hidden town. Insanity. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lift tower. And we're slowly gathering up here. But it goes a heck of a distance up. Holy cow. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. This is the skyline scream. Hey Arnold over here. Wow. So after shooting up and bouncing, now they're going all the way to the top. Holding. Up, up, up. And away. Look at them spinning up there. They're getting a vision outside of those windows, I believe, of Manhattan out that way. Stuff spinning. And back up again. Let's have Invader Zim's flip spin of doom. But I don't believe it's working today. These are the ride vehicles. Out of order. Over here we've got Krang's Prime Pandemonium. It's basically like a mini pandemonium that we've seen before at Six Flags over Georgia. Sick to have this indoors. Oh, and this thing does get a little bit of air. I didn't think it could go upside down. But this thing just barely cleans the ceiling. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. There's so much continual movement and things going on here. The Nickelodeon slime coaster goes along this orange track and it just all some ass as soon as it gets to the top here. It's time for the slime show! Oh my god, it's buckets of stuff! Stuff! And dancing! The slime coaster is going. What time is it? Slime time! Oh, yeah, that's real good. Now, we need to split you up into two squads. Everyone from right here all the way over. You're all now part of the red squad. Red squad. That means everyone from here all the way back up north. Team Blue rules! Come on down, Blue Squad! We're going slime bobbing, which means things are 
are gonna get messy. On these tables are four bowls filled with Nickelodeon slime. Ooh, slime. And bobbing on top of that slime will be humongous marshmallows. Now our players have to get the marshmallows out of the slime and into those cups. That seems easy enough, right? Mark, get set, go! We got 10 and 10 and 5, 15 on the red squad, nice to work. And over here on the blue squad, 13 and 1, that's 14. Just by one marshmallow, the red squad wins! That epic win, you get the first trivia question. You have five seconds to discuss. In Dora the Explorer, what color are Boots' boots? <laughs> Right in here at Slime Time Live, we are celebrating 20 years of nautical nonsense. This next game brings it around town. So, if you're ready to make this the best day ever, stay right where you are. Put your hands in the air, let them flop like a fish, and make some noise, because we need to know who wants to play. of our players has a hamper filled with freshly folded tidy whities Now, of course, there is a technique to all of this. Oh, our a bird has joined the game. Down and put the tidy whities on one leg at a time. Then they'll stand up to pull the tidy whities up around their waist. Then they'll sit back down and repeat as many times as they can. the shredder it's a little spinny coaster I love them can't film these rides so I come in can't film on the ride so Mary's gonna film me from here but this looks like a lot of fun
Yes. like for the shell razor shredder on purple shell razor green shell razor car off that in the distance hitting a lot of loops coming back around here comes the shell razor car back again it's gonna go straight up like rip ride rocket straight up and then the initial descent is actually curved inwards It's just non-stop. It is. 
the definition of a thrill ride. You gotta get out of Nickelodeon Universe. The weird thing about these rides, like the coasters especially, no ride pictures, so there's nothing to take home as a memento of actually doing the rides. But there is a lot to do here. I don't know if it's seventy dollars worth of stuff to do, but I guess if you have little kids, it's worthwhile to spend like a whole day. When you are done with the lift hill portion of that dive coaster, you hang for like a good 20 seconds or so and just have this to look at. The skyline of the city. So we're gonna stop in It's Sugar for some candy for the road. Candy. Loose Pez. It's Swedish fish in a Swedish fish. It's Dingleberries. Cocktail flavored gummy bears. Pusheen. More candy and shirts. How many licks does it take? Candy cigarettes. It took me years to kick that habit. Beachy's gum. And Beeman's gum. And Black Jack chewing gum. We have an awesome collection of retro Pez dispensers here. Bozo, 185 bucks next to Casper for 200. This Donald Duck soft head prototype is five grand. These retro Mickeys. Bazooka Joe, is that you? Oh, did you like a big Hawaiian punch? Oh yeah! This is a ginormous charcoal boulder. 230 pounds of chocolate. This is a bag of unicorn farts. Next to a bag of unicorn poop. Look at this garden of lollipops. Before we get out of here, I'll show you one last cool feature of the mall that's already open. That's an indoor ice skating rink. It's set up with the markings for hockey. They have free skate going on. Not for free, but free skating. And they do have like a skate rental place over there. All right, American Dream, we're getting out of here. The Nickelodeon Universe Park, a lot of fun. There is a lot of good things to come here. I think when we were inside, we were looking up uh, the grand opening for the actual mall. It's like the end of March. Yeah. So, the rest of the stuff, we're gonna check if it should open. I love being back up here where people just have their car alarms going constantly. <laughs> like, everyone's immune to it, so no one's gonna pick up your car while it's getting stolen, bro. But in any event, we're getting out of here. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.